Good morning, my name is Christopher Alpazar and I am a firefighter paramedic in South Florida. In today's lecture, I'm gonna be talking about the medication known as nitroglycerin. This medication could be given uh, through a doctor's prescription and is given throughout many EMS agencies throughout the country. Now, when it comes to nitroglycerin, there are plenty of contraindications to this medication that you need to be aware of. Some of them are systolic blood pressure less than 90, or known as hypotension. Another contraindication to nitroglycerin would be sexual enhancing drugs within the last 24 to 48 hours. Now, it would behoove the paramedic or EMT to get a 12 lead or 15 lead on these patients and monitor V4R on the right side for right-sided heart failure. Why? Because those are contraindications to nitroglycerin. A positive V4R or a serious STEMI alert criteria can be a contraindication to giving this medication. Now, when it comes to nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin should be stored away from sunlight and stored in the dark. Why? Nitroglycerin can lose its potency in the sun, believe it or not. So some different ways that nitroglycerin is packaged. Nitroglycerin can be given in a spray form in a small red bottle with a white cap. I've seen it amongst many EMS agencies. Another form of nitroglycerin can be given through a small brown bottle with a white cap with a dark exterior. It can come in a pellet form or a small tablet form, and that can be given underneath the tongue, and it is able to dissolve underneath the tongue and absorb through absorption. Now that form of giving nitroglycerin takes a lot longer than if you were to start an IV. Now, some EMS agencies throughout the country give nitroglycerin through a very concentrated drip form, and that can be given IV as well. Another thing to look out for nitroglycerin is these sexual enhancing drugs. Both men and women could take sexual enhancing drugs, and some of the sexual enhancing drugs throughout the country can be Viagra, Levitra, Revatio, or Cialis. So it is super important to monitor this patient's, this patient's blood pressure uh, throughout transport and on scene as well. It would behoove the paramedic to also get manual blood pressures. Manual blood pressures is some of the most accurate way to get a blood pressure on a patient, whether it would be the right arm or the left arm. Now, when it comes to nitroglycerin and when it comes to patients with CHF, there are plenty of patients out there that take nitroglycerin for CHF. However, you always wanna monitor patients with right-sided heart failure because nitroglycerin could affect cardiac output, stroke volume, and contractility as well. So if you are gonna give nitroglycerin to some patients, make sure you give them plenty, plenty, plenty of fluids to make sure that their stroke volume in their heart and contractility is good to go throughout transport. Now, when it comes to fixing blood pressure, normal saline is a very popular way to fix blood pressure, right? Whether it be 500 mLs and 1,000 mLs, depending on your EMS agency's protocols. Now, Another way to fix blood pressure that I have seen is Epi 1 in 100,000 in very small dosages IV. Some EMS agencies use that as well. Another thing with nitroglycerin. A lot of doctors prescribe nitroglycerin to one specific patient. However, it is super important to get a proper patient assessment when giving nitroglycerin. You always wanna ask the patient for allergies, medications, past medical history, last oral intake, and consider their signs and symptoms. A popular symptom that EMS agencies give nitroglycerin for is chest pain. Now, when it comes to chest pain, you always wanna give a proper uh, score on these chest pain patients, whether it be one through 10. Ask, how severe is your chest pain? Ask the patient, do they take nitroglycerin already, right? How many nitroglycerins have they taken in the morning? How many have they taken throughout the day? And a lot of times you wanna ask these patients if they've taken nitroglycerin, was it prescribed to them or was it prescribed to somebody else in the household, right? And you also always wanna try and take the medication with you throughout transport. And you always wanna take a look at the medication and make sure they haven't overdosed on the medication. Because if they have, hypotension can be a serious problem along with altered mental status and a possible heart attack or cardiac arrest. Now, when it comes to nitroglycerin, 
whenever you give nitroglycerin, make sure that the patient has been able to accept the nitroglycerin and has not brought it up orally. And that would be the conclusion for my lecture today on nitroglycerin. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.